Hey, my name is Ryan, and today I'm going to be talking to you all through why you should never, ever, ever, ever reuse your passwords, right? I'm going to show you what the actual risk behind doing so is, how easy it could be for an attacker to, to get your password on one website and then figure out other websites that you use, right? So that's what I'll be showing today. Um, and I know everyone hears it a lot from the cybersecurity community, like, don't do it. Um, and it's a very commonly said trope, right, or a very commonly said piece of advice, but it's not common practice, right? Um, so the purpose of this video is to show you all, right, um, if you reuse your passwords, what could happen, right? What what can an attacker do to to basically leverage that to their advantage? Um, of course, as always, this is an educational video. You know, do not do not ever do illegal stuff with um, anything I show. Um, main purpose of this is to hopefully by the end of this encourage you all to change your passwords at the very least for your critical accounts, right? Your bank accounts, your Gmails, right? All of that. So let's dive in. So step one, what, what might an attacker do? Let's say there's a high profile leak, right? I know Facebook had one three years ago where um, they basically had this big dump of their passwords and it was all in plain text and it was a mess, right? What can a hacker do to uh, basically find those credentials in the first place? Now I know I just spoiled the search query, but we're gonna start new. There's something called Google dorking, um, which is basically just when you create more intelligent search queries to get better results out of your Google searches. Right, for example, let's say I'm writing a research paper on Norman Borlaug, right? Uh, Norman Borlaug, ooh, I don't even know how to spell his name, um, who's an American agronomist. I don't know how to pronounce that word. Uh, but let's say I'm looking just for PDFs, right? Now I might hit enter and I might scroll and only look for PDFs about how he won the Nobel Peace Prize. Uh, but instead, what I could do, if I know a little bit of Google dorking, if I know how to make intelligent queries, I could do file type, right? So this is a keyword that Google recognizes, file type colon, and then PDF. And when I hit enter, what you probably notice is all of these search results are now PDFs, right? Every single one of them, right? So with a little bit of knowledge on how the Google search engine works, we're actually able to leverage that to make more effective queries. Now, how can a hacker use this? What they might do is they might look for a website called Pastebin, right? What is Pastebin? Well, this is Whenever there's a high profile leak of credentials, right? Typically hackers put it on Pastebin, right? So Pastebin has a ton of public information like that, um, or a ton of what should be private information. But unfortunately, it was leaked public information. Um, so what a hacker might do is they might use the command or the keyword in URL Pastebin, right? So I'm only going to be getting results with Pastebin in the URL. Um, if I just hit enter on this, one thing to note is it will bring up other websites like Wikipedia, for example. Um, the thing it's looking for is just making sure the word pastebin is in that search, right? So just keep that in mind. We're not only looking at pastebin.com. Um, next, I might use a uh, keyword called in text, right? So I'm going to look in text. And if you're thinking, well, what do, for example, the Facebook credential leak, right? What is probably a syntax that is included in every single username? Well, we all sign in with our username, so probably at gmail.com. Right, is a common thing that pops up. And when I hit enter, you know, um, we actually see a couple search results and these are leaked passwords and usernames, right, from previous uh, attempts. Uh, they're pretty stale, right, 2019, 2017, pretty old. Um, I'm not gonna click on these for obvious reasons, right? I have no interest in showing you leaked credentials, um, but instead, the whole purpose of what I'm trying to show you is for an attacker, it's very easy to find um, passwords that have been leaked to throw this in a file and to automate attacks on all of these different users. Um, now, you might be saying, so what if my, you know, for example, Kellogg's.com account um, gets hacked and they can access information on my favorite cereals or something like that? Um, well, I'm, I'm going to show you with the next step um, how an attacker could use this to actually pivot to other accounts, right? Or to find out what other accounts you may have on different websites that may use these credentials, right? So we just showed you, you know, how attackers might um, leverage intelligent Google searching to find the credentials. Um, step two for them might be to go to their command terminal to do some more malicious things, right? So I'm gonna use a tool today called recon-ng. When we hit enter, um, other than just getting cool ASCII art, right? Pretty, pretty cool. Um, what we also get is an open source intelligence tool, right? A tool that will be able to find things like usernames, emails, sometimes passwords, um, po sometimes positions, right? Occupations of just various different individuals, um, Recon NG, it's really a suite of tools. So there's a ton of different scripts, right? And to show you those, I'm gonna use the command marketplace, right? They call it the marketplace. I'm gonna do search, right? Marketplace search. 
Um, when I hit enter, what this command is going to do is it's actually going to show me all of the potential modules to use. Right? Each of these different modules does a different thing and provides me with different information. Right? So here we have it so far. Um, one thing to note, right? once we're in the recon ng terminal, right? and we can see we are because we see recon ng right here, um, normal commands, normal Linux commands like ls won't work. Clear won't work as well. Right? So you'll only be restricted to commands for recon ng. Um, so what I might do, right? for example, let's say I just saw and stole somebody's credentials off a of pastebin. Right? I stole their username and their password. Um, what I may do next is I might go here to recon ng. I might do marketplace search, and I'm going to use a GitHub module. Marketplace search GitHub. I'm going to use this module right here. Uh, marketplace search GitHub. And what I might do is I might install, load, and then use this module. Um, just so you all know, if you ever are not sure what keyword comes after, for example, like marketplace, if you just put marketplace alone, it'll actually give you suggestions like info, install, refresh, right? Search, right? We've used search so far. I'm going to use the install now, right? I've identified a module I want to use. I'm going to use this one right here. I'm going to do marketplace, marketplace, install, ooh, install, and then I'm going to do control shift D to paste my keyboard. Once I hit enter, I've now installed this module, right? If I search again, status should stay as installed, right? Or I had installed previously, but it would switch to install for you all. Next up, I need to load this module. So there's another keyword called modules. I'm going to hit enter to see what I can do next. I have the option to load, to reload, or to search. I'm going to do modules, load, and I'm going to do control shift V and paste that path again. We know this command worked because now instead of having recon ng default, I now have recon ng default profiler, right? We see this module has actually been loaded here. Um, next step for you, once you have this module loaded, what you can do is you could do options list. And we could actually see what needs to be set in order to make this attack successful, right? So in order to make this successful, we need to set the source to a specific value. This is a required thing to do. Source it input, right? Um, just to give some information, let's do info. Um, in case you're wondering for more information on um, this particular module, it gives it right here. Uh, basically, the purpose of this module is to take a username um, and search a variety of websites for those users, right? Why am I doing this? Once again, let's say I found your username and your password on a, on a public leak. Um, if you reuse your password, what I might do is I might go to Recon NG, and I might try to figure out what other websites you may have accounts on, right? Where I could try those credentials. So I'm going to do options, set, source, right? How do I know to do this? Uh, because we have this option called source. I'm going to set it to, I'm just going to use a random, right, or a very generic username. I'm going to call it admin, right? We're probably going to find tons of websites with usernames like admin on it. Um, once I have this set, I could just hit run, and it'll actually scour the web to find different websites that have an account called admin on it, right? And we see there's actually a ton, right? We actually see there, there's quite a bit of feedback we're getting back. Uh, keep in mind, right, you might say, like, well, you know, of course everybody... You know, admins, probably a bunch of different peoples. Um, but if you have a specific username that you use on multiple sites, as well as a specific password, right? Somebody could very feasibly use this tool to find out different areas to go and to try your credentials, right? So we see here, right? This person has a TF2 backpack examiner, you know, uh, account, great. Um, they have BitChute, shoot, whatever that is, right? They have da, 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 Poshmark, right? Tune find right. We're, we're finding basically a ton of different, um, ton of different areas where this person has an account, right? Um, so the next step for an attacker would be right. So first they got your credentials. They got your credentials from that that pastebin leak, right? Step one. Step two for them, and it's crazy that there's really only two steps to this, um, would be to go into Recon NG and to find out different areas where you may use those same credentials. So. That's all I have to show for you all today, right? We learned a couple things, right? Intelligent Google searching, Google dorking. Um, we learned a little bit about Recon NG. Um, once again, this is to implore you all, please change your passwords, right? If you have a, a Facebook password um, that you've been using since three years ago, it's leaked, right? And if you use that password for other accounts, right, be very careful because someone could just use this tool and see all the different websites that that password may work. Um, so 
that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you all have a great day. Um, that's all I have to show for you. And uh, tune in next time, and we'll talk about some other cool cyber stuff. Uh, but as always, thank you for watching.